unlike conventional photographers, abstract or non-representational photographers have more freedom to explore new possibilities and express feelings and moods. In the ongoing exhibition Gradually Fog Up at the Schoolhouse Art Gallery, Chinese artist Gu Zhongsheng is presenting the indescribable emotions and poetic memories through a series of specially processed abstract photographs. Gradually Fog Up reveals an idea of transformation. These works reflect the reality, but also show how memories have chemical reactions with the time. Deploying the expressive power of colors in large fields and full compositions, the style of Gu Zhongsheng's work in Gradually Fog Up resembles abstract paintings with quiet, meditative, and spiritually melodious. But there's no brushwork in Gu's works, but just techniques in photo taking and processing. Before sunset, take a in the series After Sunset, Before Sunrise, I adjusted lighting in the studio to emulate the scenery of sunrise and sunset. And when I saw sunrise and sunset, I feel it looks like the skyline is set between two color fields, where the status of sunset and sunrise becomes a switch between daytime and night. This feeling of in-between reminds me of the yin and yang concept. There's another black and white portrait I took. The model is my friend Anna. I shot the film using 4 by 5 inches, and one day, I used my phone to take a picture of the film. Thus, many details of her face disappeared. After photoshopping the second picture, it generates an effect of a statue or a sculpture. I was hugely influenced by minimalism. Before taking photos, I already knew what I was going to cut off. I like using the simplest way to express emotions, feelings, and thoughts, which are really deep. Images about New York City can be seen everywhere online. On the basis of the memories rooted in people's minds, I took a picture in which I blurred out the city's lights. By doing so, the photo was transformed into a very simple one, like a light chain was situated in the middle of the void darkness. I really like it because it looked like a series of codes and notes that the city leaves for us. When you live in the city, you can hear the city's sound, feel the city's beat, and move along the city's rhythm. And the photo captures this feeling. For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net. Reporting for Sanovision Journal, I'm Jane Stone.